Good afternoon and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, Tuesday. I hope you're choosing to be happy and smile and making the right choices for you. Um, if you're coming in on the live, please let me know where you're coming in from. And if you're coming in on the replay, please type in Encore and also let me know where you're coming in for so I can say hey and shout you out. Um, and if you enjoy what I'm talking about, please feel free to uh, smash on those hearts. So today I did something very exciting. I went with my hubby to Tel Aviv to get new running shoes because when I was uh, coming back from my 10k on Friday with my neighbour, um, someone who I highly respect, who's a um, iron woman, she, um, I said to her, oh, you haven't helped me with my running yet? Because I'd asked her back at the beginning of COVID if she could uh, watch how I ran and give me advice. And she said, those shoes need changing, which I already knew. But I decided today, um, as I had a gap in the day, to go um, buy some new shoes and went on the treadmill and got the right shoes for me. So I'm very excited about that. And on the way, I was listening to um, Ai Wei by Jamila Jamil. And with this woman, Aubrey Gordon, or Audrey Gordon, uh, who is um, uh, hashtag your fat friend. And they were talking about um, fat shaming and about how people um, think they have a right to comment, judge, uh, congratulate you when you go walking, make comments about every single little thing. And it took me back to a conversation I had yesterday with my mother-in-law, who was trying to give me a compliment, but I was so mortified by it that it really had a huge effect on me. And I know I share my journey and that I've lost weight and people are looking at me, um, but I'm not, I'm sharing this, um, not to say, oh wow, look at my body, but like to inspire others that that. If they want to improve their health, they can. And um, yesterday, my mother-in-law told me how proud my um, uh, grandmother-in-law on my uh, father-in-law's side was and how she had been telling her brother how I'd lost weight and how, like, I looked amazing and pretty and everything. And I was thinking, like, this person hasn't seen me since my wedding day. And... I don't really need to be discussed. And I know at my wedding day that there were people there telling my husband, like straight after our wedding, oh, you're never going to have any children because of the size of your wife. And no one's in my body. No one's God. And no one decides uh, what someone can and can't be um, and can and can't do. And I was a bit shocked at the time that people were passing that kind of judgment that they were saying, Oh, she's fat, so she's going to have fertility problems. She's fat, so she's lazy. She's fat, so she's this. She looks like this, so that. She has blonde hair, so she's dumb. And all these judgments. And I was just thinking, I'm just a human being living my life. And then I was like, today, I'm sorry, I'm a bit emotional. Today, one of my really lovely friends, actually yesterday, she sent me a picture. And I was smiling. And I was like a teenager in a um, in a pub. And I was like double the size of my friends. And we were so happy and smiley. And I was like, oh, I remember that time. It was so great. And then I was like, hang on. I always felt so, so like paranoid that people were staring at me because of how I looked and I was always terrified to leave the house because of what clothes I could and couldn't wear and you know that's my mum and my brothers accepted me for who I was but because of society's um judgments and how society saw what someone should and shouldn't look like it was pushed on me from a really young age that I didn't look right and I didn't fit in. And that has a humongous psychological effect. And I just wish that like society, even now, would not make judgments. Like nowadays, it's like, okay, fine, I do, I do run a, a, a health program. But 
there's so much judgment around the fact that like people have like put on weight over covid so what you know weight uh, gain and loss isn't necessarily about what someone eats it's so much more than that it's mental health like people like there is a fat gene i don't know if i have the fat gene i have the stress gene my fat when i was growing up like was hard it was like a a solid wall around my body a defense and i asked my friend today because all when like when i look back on my past all i see is a horrible person who was so defensive to the world and like would bite any ever like bite at people and never take a compliment and always feel so so resentful and and that's not how people saw me hi Vishy that's not how people saw me I asked my friend today how she saw me and she was like trustworthy and kind heart of gold and all I saw was how the negative the, the bullies saw me and had I taken on how the kind people saw me then my life would have been so different I I lost a friend because I didn't go to her engagement party because I was ashamed of how I looked when I when I was at university that's really hard for me she was such a nice person and she was a, such a good friend of mine and I'm really sorry that I'm crying on here but I really want people to understand if you have family that have weight problems if you have kids that have weight problems please like like show them compassion because like it's not necessarily because they eat so much more than other people and you making comments about how much they eat or their food choices does not help them because it's you know cortisol has a humongous a humongous effect on people's weight like i've talked about this many times that on shabbats i can put on weight without changing what i'm eating without overeating because i get extra stressed on shabbat like it's just an automatic thing for me and that's what i want people to understand is that if the more stress you put on someone the harder it is for them to lose weight even if they're eating better even if they're doing everything they can like two people can eat exactly the same and if one is highly stressed and one isn't the person that is highly stressed is likely even if they're eating really healthy to either put on weight or not to be able to lose weight if they want and that's that's the environment that you have to create around yourself and around your families and around your loved ones is a, a an environment of calm of happiness of like gratitude because that is what will help people it's not all this um judgment and confrontation and telling people oh they should go and they should run and they should do this and they should do that uh yeah i'm so sorry sweetie so my husband was talking to me today about like he was really really skinny uh, and lanky growing up the whole the whole of his life and then he went into the army and they they injected him with cortisol because he got a um he got hyper hyperbolic something in his stomach that caused a virus and they they injected him with cortisol and after that he just started putting on weight and like like i'm just telling i i just want to share this because i think it's so important that people understand that people's judgments and people deciding what is good for someone else isn't necessarily the case like i i can do all i can for my children with like providing them with the, the healthiest options and if i get stressed and irritated at my husband the fact that he gives my kids treats that is not actually the best environment for my kids to like for them to have treats and for them to be in a non confrontational uh, calm environment is far much more healthy for them and like i've said many times eating uh, intentionally and in a calm state i've even managed to lose weight eating um, uh, treats so it's not necessarily about it's it's not necessarily about overeating all the time it's about getting a healthy lifestyle not just physically but mentally and emotionally the mental and the emotion completely utterly affects how how your body works like a psychosomatic your body is psychosomatic it works totally like that i used to suffer 
I used to have um, um, tonsillitis four or five times a year. And tonsillitis, they've, they found a connection between stress and words and what you hear. Like a lot of children get uh, earaches from like the stress around them and the fights that happen. And when I went to um, my naturopath when my daughter was little and she heard what I was talking about and my stress levels and stuff about my diet and about how I felt about myself and my... Um, she saw how I was reacting and then a few days later she had an eye infection and the naturopath explained that like she got that eye infection from what she saw and the environment around her nothing to do with like uh, anything physical it was all emotional and mental and uh, and it's so important that we like create safe spaces around us to be able to get healthy from the inside out and yes I'm an advocate of whole food capsules but I'm also an advocate of looking after yourself and creating a routine in your life that uh, that causes you to have calm and to be emotionally stable and to be healthy from the inside out not just the physical but the emotional the um the spiritual and um whatever way you need to use to find that I if, if you need help with that please feel free to um, to message me because I've been through a lot. Um, hi, Nechama. Um, I've been through a lot and uh, and um, even like, I'm like okay, fine, I'm um, in my late 30s, but I, I, I've, I've carried this my whole life. I've always been overweight. I've always had trauma around this and there I'm fat shaming about around bullying. So if you have daughters and you, and you don't know how to... Sorry, I'm very emotional about this. If you have daughters and you, you don't know how to help them and you, you want to help around this, please feel free to message me. I'll, I'll, I'll give you ideas because we, we can't go on generations and generations and generations of people and their judgment around fat and around any, any minority um, being okay to cause stress for other people. Anyway, if you found this of value, please feel free to share or to comment and or to tag your friends. And uh, I'm sorry I cried. Anyway, I hope you have a beautiful Tuesday. Don't forget to choose to smile, choose to take care of yourselves and choose to love yourself. And remember, you are worthy. You're worthy of taking up space in this world and your story and your life matters. Bye for now.